Welcome back to Beginning Drawing with Miss Carrie. Today we are going to learn about textures. It's awesome that we can make pictures and make a nice smooth picture, but a lot of things in life have a ton of texture to it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make some boxes on my paper with my pencil and I'm going to show you some different textures that you might want to think about. And then part of your homework is to find six other textures around your house that you can draw in your little boxes. And basically all textures are is a pattern. So let's see. At my desk, I have this little basket. I'll show it to you. And it has quite the texture on it. It goes in and out, has little lines in between. Texture is all about being willing to look at detail. And the more detail you see, the more texture you can get. So this is going to be our first texture. And I'll show you how to draw that. We'll keep that right up there in the corner. So what I see is I see lines that jump like this and like this, back and forth. And then it does the opposite. But that's not all that it does. We have all these little textured lines in there and they go the same direction as the line is going. So we're just going to add some more texture in there. And we'll add more and more as we go, but I'm just going to Make a couple of lines here, and then we'll get to shading as well. The shading is pretty important in texture too. Now I'm going to grab a pencil that's a little bit darker. I'm going to grab my number two HB2 pencil or 2B, not HB, 2B pencil. It has quite a pointy end right there. And I'm just going to make some darker, darker lines so we can distinguish our texture from the edges. Here we have it. Now, if you want to use your finger or um, a shading tool, go ahead and grab that. I need to clean mine off here. Now we're going to go through and maybe shade just a little bit. So it looks like these things are going underneath each other. So with this, you could actually make a basket. So that's a cool basket. Let's see what other textures we have. So 
So another texture I see is my bag. Now this bag has lots of little squares. It's kind of a meshy, squarish texture to the bag. So let's make that on our paper. Grab your pencil. This one's going to consist of lots of lines. They don't have to be perfect. Because, you know, fabric gets folded and bent in, and so those lines don't have to be perfectly straight. Now to make those boxes. There we go. Now the cool thing about a shading tool is I wouldn't even have to add necessarily more to it but you can just take it and run it over and it keeps your lines there if you don't press too hard but then it gives it that added texture to it and then if you really wanted to you could add a little bit darker around the square edge here it's just going to make the middle part pop out it might cover up some of your texture though. So just be aware of that. Just like that. Let's see what else we can find. So here's something else that I found. It's a piece of cork. Now what do you notice about it? Let's see. There's lots of odd weird shapes in there. And there's some dark spots and some lighter spots. So let's try that with our pencil. So we're just going to make lots of shapes. With our pencil. And remember, don't hold it like you're drawing or like you're writing. Hold it a little further back on that balance point. very random the way those shapes are. They're not squarish, they're not circular. It's almost like scribbling but not quite. Controlled scribbling. You could even find textures outside like the bark of a tree, anything like that. So now I think I'm going to use a slightly darker pencil, a 6B, one of the darkest pencils. And I'm just going to add some little bit darker points and flecks in here because we have just a couple. And then you can notice some of the lines are a little bit more definite. Now you can just gently take your shading tool or your finger very gently right over it and then you have some texture there. Let's see what else we can find. Here I have my jar. It's got little bumps on there. Now this will be an interesting thing to do on paper. So. Grab your pencil. Let's check it out. We have 
round circles, but they come to a bumpy point. Now we're going to have to use those shading techniques that we used last time. So there's circles, and you can make your circles bigger if you'd like. This comes to kind of a cone shape. So with this, we see some light here. So we know that you're going to come to a point just like that. And let's see, it's dark right next to it. So maybe like just like that. And it's pretty dark on that other side. shading tool with me. And I don't. So when you don't have a super tiny shading tool, here's what you do. Take a tissue and your pencil and make a point with your pencil. And this can be a really And this can be a really good shading tool. So let's move that around. All right. And then we'll take. Oh, where's my. <laughs> I have my pencil. Let's take that. Just like that. And there. You have it. Let's do that a couple more times. So we have that little triangle that comes up, shaded right next to that um, light spot, and then it gets dark over here and more of a definitive line right there. And then you take your pencil and you shade. So that's another texture that we found around my office. Let's see what else we have. All right, so this texture you can't see too well, but it's on the front of my computer. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like rectangles that are slightly spaced out, parallel lines. But the shading on it looks something like this. So this part is darker with probably that part lighter. Okay, so dark and then slighter, dark. Lighter, dark, and then light. Let's see what it looks like when we use our shading tool. So I'm going to do all of the dark pieces first. Oh, it's looking kind of 3D ish. Just like it does in real life here. Let me clean off my shading tool. And then lightly just like that. So now you can see very light, light and dark, dark, light and lighter, dark, light and lighter, dark, light and lighter. Find one more. The last texture I found is exactly what I'm wearing. It's kind of a sweater. It's kind of like uh, 
ropey, lots of strings, and it's all hooked together. So let's see what we can come up with. Regular pencil. Let's see. Kind of hooks together like this. Get the basic shape down first. It's very rough and sketchy because yarn is pretty rough and sketchy. So, now that we have that, so let's take a closer look at what I got going on here. You can see lots of different yarns there. And it is pretty wispy like that. But maybe we define what we're doing here. I don't think we'll need to do any shading on this one at all. All right. So your job is to go out and find textures in your house and then build something with it. I'm gonna build a basket, just like the little one we saw here. Remember how we make a cube? We start with that simple shape first. So let's make that cube just like so. And then we had those parallel lines that go out from three of the corners and then the parallel line that matches this line and then the parallel line that matches this line so let's put that together so the box is a little curvy instead of squarish so I'll put that in my picture And now we need those, that texture in there. Now when I go to make my lines this way, I want to make sure that I'm following these lines instead of these lines. Okay, so this line needs to go this way and you can even make lines to help you out just like that that can be erased later but you want to make sure that you're going away from yourself so let's make these ones gives us a little bit of a perspective.
but you would also be able to see it in the top of the basket now, wouldn't you? So let's make a line that goes down just like that. And let's see, this might be the line for that first thing. So let's, uh, one is this way, but this one is this way, so we don't quite see it. This is going to be a little bit darker, so let's make our texture in here. add a little bit of texture on the inside but this is actually going to be darker on here so if you remember how it's supposed to be this side is going to be a little bit darker so let's make these lines slightly darker on this side and make that corner more rounded okay and then it's lighter here and then we're going to make it actually a little bit darker like this to make it seem like it's a basket instead of a solid top so let's get out our 6b and because these go over and under. So it's going to say we're just gonna shade right in here. So wherever it goes underneath it's gonna be a little bit darker than where it goes over. And we won't worry about that side as much but we will give it just a little bit of a darker tone to it. All right, let's use our shading tool. So we're going to make it so that these are going over and under. start to see that texture come out. There you go. Let's do this side. This one's going under here, under there, under here, under there, under here, under there, right here. And then we're just going to kind of slide our shading tool all the way across there. And now we get to do the inside. Pull off that line. Just like so. And I think this to be a little darker here so it looks more of a hole rather than a lid and now we need our shadow down here so lights coming from that side And 
our pencil. Making it a little bit darker right next to it. There we have it. What will you build from your textures? Go ahead, take a picture, send it in. I'd love to see it. And I'll see you again next month.